When I first came across this device, I thought no way we can have a fully customizable Wi-Fi IP camera for less than $5. But Chinese tech often surprised me, unfortunately not always in a good way. Well, let's find out what this small device is actually capable of. As you can see, this device comes without any housing and even doesn't have any USB ports for power. So, it is aimed at people that at least know some basic stuff about electronics. Well, let's connect it to 5V and see if it even works without any flashing. If everything goes well, you should see a new network when you do a Wi-Fi search. The name is obviously ESP32CAM. It is open, so let's connect to it. Now let's use the browser and go to address 192.168.4.1 slash jpeg. Yeah, we got the picture from the camera. And we can update it. But this is not all, we should even get a working video stream if we add underscore stream to the address. Let's try it. And it works. Well, that is cool of course, but my initial idea was to flash it in order to get a user interface with settings and make a surveillance camera out of it. In order to flash it, we need a USB to UART converter. Such converter is cheap and easy to find on AliExpress, it is less than $1. Many people already have such converter because it's very universal and widely used. Flashing is simple, a Google search ESP32 camera flash circuit reveals how to connect everything. In Arduino IDE choose COM port of your USB converter. Then you need to choose AI Thinker ESP32 CAM. If it's not here, you need to install ESP32 Core, I leave the link in the description. Now open the terminal, make sure that speed is 115200. Then press the reset button on ESP32 camera and you should see some data in the terminal, which means that we can receive data from the camera. Code for the camera you can get in Arduino IDE examples. Also, I'll give you a link to my modified code that has LED control and some additional useful features. A link in the description. Here in the code you need to type your Wi-Fi network name and password. Now we're almost ready to flash the camera. In order to enter flashing mode, you need to connect GPIO 0 to ground and press reset or disconnect USB and connect it back. And in Arduino ID we just need to click on compile and flash button and wait. It can take some time. If everything is successful, it should say done uploading. Now you can disconnect GPIO 0 from ground and press reset. Now ESP32 camera should be connected to your Wi-Fi network. To find its IP address you need to go to your router settings. Or you can just open terminal in Arduino IDE and press reset. So let's see what interface we have now. Cool, and I even have LED control now. By the way, LED is very bright and hot because it doesn't have current limiting resistor, so I bet it will die very soon. But actually I don't care, cause I'm going to use much bigger LED module and I'm going to power it from 5V instead of 3.3 so the built-in voltage regulator will make much less heat. So let's do the work. Now let's test it. To build the housing I've used clear silicon sealant and glass. There are a lot of options here, for example you can 3D print the housing or buy a dummy camera, it's up to you. I'm going to power it from 12V, so I need 12V to 5V DC-DC converter. So let's assemble everything.
Also, I decided to paint it black. I hope it will prevent some lens flare. Now it looks not so good, but again, it's not a thing that you're going to look at. Quite the opposite, this thing is going to look at you. Now I installed the camera on this tree, so let's see what it sees. Here is the camera interface. With a higher resolution, we get lower FPS, which is expected. Also, you can use software like iSpy, which would be very useful if you have multiple cameras. Also, consider adding an external antenna to the camera if you're far away from the router. Like if you learn something new, also consider subscribing and see you in the next one.